I don't really do a lot with audio, but let's take a look at VSTs within DaVinci Resolve. So if you don't know what VSTs are, they're plugins that work in audio software and they also work in DaVinci Resolve. VSTs can be found all over the internet. There's a ton of different marketplaces and there's also a lot of people that offer them for free. So whatever it is that you're looking for, you can probably find a free version of it. It might not be fully featured, but you can probably find a full or a free version of whatever effect you're trying to achieve. So VST plugins are actually pretty easy to install. If you come up to DaVinci Resolve and go to preferences and come down to audio plugins, you can insert a folder or they have these two folders that are there by default. You just put your VST plugins inside of one of these folders and then with a reboot, you'll end up seeing them down here and then they'll be loaded as long as they have the working status. So if we jump over to the Fairlight tab, in your effects, you'll see them right here. These are the couple effects that I installed. And then what I did is I added a channel. So you just click here, add channel. I added a channel. And then what I did, because I'm going to record on with my mic, I just patched in uh, this microphone. So just come to input, click the channel that you want and then the mic source and then click patch. Once I did that, I then added a effect to under the effects and then the effect that I added, if I click on it, the effect I added, which is this guy and it's auto tune. And then when you're ready to record, you just click the little R here and then the record button. And then you can record a dope track. Auto tune's probably good for me. You can record a dope track. And yeah, so 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 that's that. Um, have fun. I'm gonna stick to uh, what I do and I'm not gonna be recreating music. But the cool thing with this is, if you make any Foley for a project, you can add all of these different effects to Foley. I think that's mainly what this is gonna be used for, not for uh, making crazy voiceover sound effects. But um, yeah, so there's a couple other plugins that I have in here. You can stack plugins if you want to. So I have this reverb one. Record a dope track. There's a plethora of things that you can do. Um, what I also ended up doing is I seen that other people were getting things that were already in DaVinci. So I just wanted to explain this. In here they have, now this is supposed to be really good, but there is something similar here with EQ. So this exists for EQ. Um, I'm not a huge audio guy, so I don't know what the differences are, but it does exist. The other thing that I actually use a lot and I'll just add it in here, is I like to sometimes boost the signal. So I found this one online to boost the signal, but in DaVinci, it already comes with this thing called Dynamics, and you can boost the signal with a limiter. Um, and then they have compressor and a noise gate. So all of these already, this is already in DaVinci, and the EQ is in DaVinci already, so you don't have to worry about downloading those unless there's a specific one that you're used to using. Um, like I said, this one had really good reviews, but I don't know shit about audio, so um, this isn't really going to be that great for me. But if you are an audio guy or you do do fully for films, um, there are a ton of VST plugins that you can use now that Fairlight has this new interface to, to work with VSD plugins. I think that a lot of people are, are going to uh, be using this now. Before, in the editor, if you had an audio track, you could come up to here and in your effects, you could add the VST on to a track. You could do it that way. Then you would have this like little guy and it would have all these different things and you could pop up 
this guy, but I think now with the whole new interface for Fairlight, definitely it puts people in more of a comfortable um, setting for people that, that deal with audio. Uh, if you do do audio, let me know what the good VST plugins are to use because I'd really like to start getting into audio and making more fully for the kind of work that I work on. I don't have that much time to devote into learning all of these and which one's good and which ones aren't just because if you do go out there and look at VST plugins, there are so many. Um, I don't know how long the standard has been out, but uh, these, there's there's more plugins than you'll ever be able to go through. And there, a lot of them just have so many settings in these intricate looking interface, you know, I, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys know of really good VST plugins and then also put what you use it for so I'm not just downloading something and I have no idea why I would use it. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions on something I should make a video on. Again, my name's JR and thanks for watching.